So March came and went. It was fun while it lasted though, right? Without any further ado, here are all the highlights from March of 2023. <laughs> that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. this is beautiful i hit three million it's my birthday oh yeah we up I'm getting into it. Oh, 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 hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's my birthday, B. I got a fantasy that's beautiful, that's dark and twisted. But I attacked the whole religion all because of my ignorance. What was I thinking? That was some bitch shit. I lost Adidas, but I'm so Yeezy. Back in the kitchen, man, I'm a genius. Boys in the hood, just like I'm easy. Kanye, Wheezy, Southside of Chicago, life ain't easy. All praise be to Lord Jesus, Donna, please rest easy. All right, let me cut it there. Let me cut it there. Any discussions with Chinese government officials? So what, but, but what about the Chinese Communist Party itself? Have any of those officials discussed this with you? Like I said, I have not had any discussion with Chinese government officials. I don't know the political affiliation of everybody I speak to, so I can't verify the statement. Let me ask you a question in a different direction. A few weeks ago, this committee had a field hearing down in McAllen, Texas, and it was on the issue of uh, fentanyl and, and illegal immigration. And one of our witnesses, uh, Brandon Judd, a 25-year veteran Border Patrol agent, said that all social media platforms play a role in illegal immigration. That's one of the ways cartels advertise their services throughout the world and convince people to put themselves in their hands and come to the United States. The cartels all use social media platforms. Are you aware of this phenomenon? Uh, any content that, um, that promotes human abuse is a violative of our community guidelines, which dictates what is allowed and not allowed on our platform. We proactively identify and remove them from our platform. Play me some more new shit for the people. Lil Yachty's last album was about psychedelics and like doing drugs or whatever. So it is actually pretty scary that he's putting this demonic imagery, especially when if he's performing that type of music. It, it encourages 
his fans to also be on DMT or acid or shrooms or whatever he's on. And if they look up at the, the screen and there's Satan right there, that is not good vibes. I am telling you right now. You give me a vibe, I'm creeping right in. Just started, but all the beats. Snitch paperwork until he log off. It's a dirty ball game. Watching niggas fall. Right. I'm sorry, I don't see you more. I'm sorry that the fuck. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this? Let me know if I should do one for April as well. I will see you in the next one. Bye.